The dark edge of this frame tells us that we have a problem with the shutter. So we're gonna use the term shutter capping here as a catch-all for two different issues. So we've talked about how a shutter works before. And here's footage of a shutter showing proper action. One way that shutter capping can occur is if the leading and trailing curtains both open at the same time and then the leading curtain takes off. Or if the leading curtain pulls the trailing curtain out with it. That leads to the trailing curtain blocking part of the image from receiving light. And that would typically happen at the leading edge of the frame. The trailing curtain is likely to pull back in a little bit, leading to a dark gradient. That's one cause, which is a shutter mistiming or action problem. Another cause would be mirror mistiming. If the mirror rises after the curtain starts to open or closes before the curtain completely finishes its travel, then part of the frame will not be properly exposed. And as the mirror rises, more light will be received by the frame. And again, this will cause a darkening gradient. Adding to this, both of these issues may only happen at some shutter speeds. So there's no easy way without camera testing equipment to diagnose the issue's cause. But that doesn't matter so much because the only real fix to this is to have the camera professionally serviced. Whether this is caused by the shutter action or the mirror action, the issue is likely to become worse.